Hi, this is Joby Gutierrez. I would like to teach you how to do fund switch or fund allocation using my Emma or Emma by AXA application. Uh, but to do that, you have to uh, log into the web portal, not from the app of Emma. So let me share my screen. So let's say we're here. Okay, and then we will log into Emma. So I'm already logging here, actually naka save yung password. So yes, it will take you to your account. And then what you can do is go to services. And then from here, sorry, there is something like you have to do fund switch. You click that fund switch. And then you have to choose which policy you want to do, you wanted to I do a fund switch. So let's say I have a life basics and then click that one and then you click next. Since this one was just taken last um, May uh, 2020, so you will see that uh, it, ha it has still less fund value. But then just don't mind that. I will just teach you the process of how to do the fund switch. So click next. Then Let's say from here, I will transfer this Spanish American legacy fund. I will. I wanted to transfer it, let's say to Global Advantage Fund, which is uh, this Global Advantage Fund, as discussed before, is a global stock market, which is composed of Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, and many more. So let's say this one, so in here, you have to enter the number of units that you wanted to transfer. So here, the number of units that I have with Spanish American Legacy Fund is 40.97. So I will put here 40.97. Then I have to click next again. And then from here, you have to click which fund. So it will give you different selection. So now you will see the new fund, the peso, de la, peso dollar denominated fund, like global advantage fund, uh, sorry, global dynamic allocation fund stable, global dynamic allocation fund multi-asset, global dynamic allocation fund growth, and global un advantage fund. So I will choose this one because I wanted to be invested with equities and then percentage distribution. So since I wanted to transfer all of the, all of this uh, total value for switching 496 pesos and 50 centavos to global advantage fund. So I'd rather you, instead of 10%, you enter 100%. Okay, and then it will give you this amount, 496.50, then click next. And then to check if you are authorized to do the transaction, of course, the back, because this one will go to the customer care team or to service center operation to verify your request. So you have to upload your ID. So let's say I will choose my driving license. 
And then in here, driver's license. And then you click next. The good thing in here, before you can um, proceed with a request, uh, there will be a one-time password that will be sent to your mobile to proceed with the transaction. Now, I should receive a code for me to uh, continue the process. So let's say, so this is very because without that message, the transaction cannot push through. So hindi mo uh, po proceed yung uh, fund switch kasi hindi mo pa ine-enter si uh, one-time password. So let me check. Let Okay, so now, since hindi ko pa nare-receive yung code, let me resend the code. Kasi yesterday I was trying then, tapos hindi pa rin, hindi pa rin na, na ano, hindi ko pa rin nakuha yung code. So I think there there is a system issue. But anyways, at least you know already what is the process of doing the fund switch. It's easy naman. Kasi you just have to uh, put the number of units that you wanted to transfer to the to your preferred allocation fund. Okay, so if let's say granted na halimbawa na enter mo na yung uh, code or yung one-time passcode, so in here, then it will give you an option to, uh, this is like more of confirmation na okay na yung transaction. Okay, so I will just click this. X. So kunyari na lang na nag-push through siya. So what else? There's a lot of things that you can do here also, apart from uh, fund switch. You can do also fund allocation. So fund allocation naman, uh, so let's say, uh, again, we will go to my life basics, then, um, so right now, halimbawa, ito, naka-transfer ako kay Philippine Wealth, eh, ah, sorry, naka-allocate yung fund ko, 45% to Philippine Wealth Equity Fund, 20% to Opportunity Fund, then 35% to Global Advantage Fund. So let's say I wanted to remove this um, Globe, uh, sorry, Opportunity Fund. Let's say this one, I will make it like zero. So I still have, uh, let's say I still have remaining 20%. So let's say I wanted to put the 20% to global dynamic allocation fund multi-assets. So same thing, you have to put here 20% and then, um, so this one, you already met the maximum 100% allocation. Do you want to remove the funds with 0% uh, value? So you can just type yes or no. And then same process, once you click next, then you will be asked also to upload your ID. And then after that, once you uploaded your ID, you have to confirm, and then you will receive a one-time password for you to proceed with that transaction. So I just made this video to uh, make you aware of uh, what is the process on doing that. Kasi maraming uh, client na nasa abroad and then they, they cannot do fund switch kasi nga uh, there is a form to be filled up and all. So you can do it online naman. So if let's say you have any questions, just feel free to message me. Or if you wanted to know more about our new products and uh, services that we offer. So we can set a meeting over Zoom or I started doing face-to-face -face meeting na anywhere in Luzon. And then um, you can call me or reach me uh, on my mobile number, sorry, 0917-8989-070.
Thank you and have a nice day.